Guys, I don't know what to tell you. We are going to be doing a Marvel Legends review, and this might not even be the last one. So expect some Marvel Legends content. I know I do it a little bit every so often because I, I don't like a lot of the releases, but sometimes they just get me like this. I, I, I'm really liking the celebrating 85 years line so far. We did a review of the Superior Spider-Man. Go check that one out. And when I saw that the Iron Fist had the updated articulation and we got a Luke Cage in there and I have a little upgrade. I think I want to I'm going to try and see how it looks. San Diego Comic-Con just happened and there wasn't much that I was excited for, but there was the uh, Punisher two pack with Bushwhacker. And I am really excited about that so much so that I actually went back uh, and to read, I'm, I'm starting to read Punisher War, 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 I can't talk today, War Journal for the first time. So I'm excited about that. They These guys don't come with too many accessories. I do like that they come with multiple heads. That is something I'm very excited about because um, like I said, later we're gonna do some swaps and stuff and see uh, how we could stretch this character more so we have luke cage right here and what really sold me on these guys were the upgraded articulation and when i saw that they gave him the freaking butterfly joints i said all right that's that's pretty much what sold me on this because you're gonna see it's a similar reused body parts but updated in a really nice way so I'm, I'm loving everything so far. This guy was much needed. I feel like this could just be like maybe, this is probably for a little while at least gonna be the definitive Luke Cage. I gotta be picking this, this set up. Um, we don't have too many hands. Uh, we got the, but boy, okay, hold on. So we don't have too many hands, but the hands we do come have come with, uh, we got Luke Cage on the, hand sculpt so that, i guess that's a brand new sculpt right that's pretty cool looks like a album cover or something a gripping hand kind of like maybe to hold a bat or something or a beer and then a, a cl clasping hand to kind of reach out and grab you if he works at a haunted house let's go over the articulation like i said the butterfly joints really nice range of motion they're the ones that aren't restricted so you can get all the way back his back looks great, sculpted beautifully, um, double jointed elbows, and for a big guy, he's pretty, you know, pretty articulated, I have to say. Um, yeah, he's looking good. Ab crunch, wow, really nice. For, again, for a big guy, you're not expecting much. Uh, legs don't go up too much, but you could fudge him. He is very articulated, like... Um, it, it doesn't look like if you count all the articulation, it doesn't look like much, but I feel like it's sometimes the articulation just works. And I think in this case, everything I'm seeing right now is just working. I'm really pleased with this and I was excited to get it in, in person. And I'm even more excited now that I have it and I'm looking at it up close. Let's pop the head off. Head up, pops off very easy and pops on and we have the angry oof listen you do not want to see this face coming at you with with the knuckles like that damn you are in a heap of trouble and pain look at this guy wow he really like poses fun like you just you don't even have to do much you know i'm not even trying to i'm not a tiktok poser guy i'm i swear my, your poses l um, Skibbity Toilet poses L. Rocco, common L. Your poses, Rocco, L. Uh, TikTok generation has worst slang ever, guys. I'm sorry. We had bad slang growing up. Sup and all that kind of stuff. But boy, you guys taking the cake. Danny now popped up right here. And this is just like, this is it, man. Classic. Uh, ooh, ooh. His leg looks like it's stuck down. Damn, damn, damn. Hold on. Yeah, look. E oh, no. Okay. Oh. Whew. Please. Please. I don't want no problems. Okay. Okay. Whew. 
I like this set. I, don't, I do not want to give a negative review. I don't want to have any problems, okay? Whoa, we have pinless. I just noticed. Pinless. Pinless on all of this. Damn. Okay, more. Hasbro... That's the thing about my channel, guys. I want to tell everybody, and, I, and for the new people who might be just catching me, I always I catch flack for when I I, I am uh, honest and I, I roast something, right? That that I believe should be roasted, but then uh, I always make sure I give my flowers when something is awesome. And damn, these figures are are just good. I'm happy. He's fun. And like I was saying, he's got the articulation that I, I need for figures now. From now on, like my deciding factor, I, uh, spoiler alert, but one of the, my problem with the superior Spider-Man figure that I just reviewed was his, his outdated articulation. I need this torso articulation going forward or I'm not interested. Drop down legs, all this stuff, pinless. And he's got the toe articulation. This is probably the definitive uh, uh, classic iron fist. Please tell me how they can improve on this. Articulation works. You can get it fully. You don't have to look. You don't have to. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, I got my thing stuck a little bit over here, but I'm not going to uh, cry about that. I could get that unstuck. <sighs> this thing is is phenomenal, man. I'm I'm really digging it. He just they pose so well and so easy. Ah, okay. And to keep up with the awesomeness, he has another face sculpt, a screaming one. Now I would have liked my one thing is one. Oh. Now, one thing I would have liked was a smiling head, like a little smirk. That, I gotta say, that's probably my only gripe so far with this figure is. Even with Luke Cage, I think a little smirk for both of them. And this would have been the official definitive. Because you got him just chilling, a little angry, and then you got him screaming. But I always like a really relaxed... Um, Oof. Oh, the paint is a little... Okay, so everything's molded in green, obviously. And the paint on this green is not really that good. I'm getting... I see some see-through parts right here. So expect... This probably will chip over time. So just a heads up for people in there. What's cool is they molded this all this skin color over here. So they were aware that it would be just chipping like a nightmare. So uh, yeah, there's a little... And there's... His tattoo could be better. It's it's not there. But nothing that I'm going to complain about. This is all just standard, um, you know, standard for these figures. He does come with a lot of hands, which are good. I'm not going to go over them because they're all the same. We've seen karate hands. But he comes with the two fireballs. Fireball. Man, I, I just, everything is, is looking good. Everything is looking good. But I, here's the fun part. We are going to be doing a little bit of uh, fix-ups and kit bashes and stuff and just seeing how we can make these figures even cooler. First off, we're going to start with Luke Cage. And I hit my camera, so let's fix that. First off, we're going to start with Luke Cage. And there are just a few different things let's try. So we have a gold chain from a wrestling figure. And we'll put that on there. Ooh, I like it. There's one that's a brighter gold that came with the rock, I think, or something. I might have to go get that one. This one looks too dull. I have the bean. Yes, guys. Bro. Yes. We got the beanie from Brock Lesnar. And even crazy. Let's, let's go one more crazy. Let's go one more crazy. Wow, it even fits on his ears, guys. It looks like it was made for his head. It's got like the ear holes and everything. Um, I'm feeling like Hasbro did that on purpose. And then we have gold glasses, but I think, oh, let's see without this. Let's see the glasses on them. Those are the rock glasses from the WWE. And that even, that, that looks good too, if that's the look you're going for. But I think what I'm doing is, hold on, hold on. We'll keep the... 
we'll keep the gold chain and then we'll put i like the regular face there you go <sighs> oh, guys look at that bro now something i wanted to do i have these bro brother voodoo wrist gauntlets and i just wanted to see uh to add like a little homage to his classic look and i didn't think so so he is so big that you're really uh i mean it looks cool but it's not fully in there so his arms are going to look really long uh maybe if you heat these up and stretch them over but hold on you know what i got i got an idea luke cage from the uh netflix series let's pop his head off Hold on, let's pop. Honestly, the skin the skin tone is a tiny bit different. I mean, the Luke Cage from the show is a lot darker and he is lighter, but I have to say it looks good. What you can do is, um, I mean, he's not as big, he's not as beefy, but what you can do with this figure is, um, just give it a little dry brush of a lighter brown. And I think you could really make this figure. Now let's try let's try the gauntlets on this body. I bet you it's gonna look good. Let's see. Uh is that the wrong Did I just make a new figure with spare parts? I think I think this works. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if this works. For the Danny, let's try pop that head off of Shang-Chi. And all right, uh, it works. The skin tone's a little different, but honestly, like sometimes Hasbro gives you figures that are like the wrong skin tone. It, it fits on there. It sits a little low, but you know, if you do some toy photography, I'm sure you could uh, kind of fudge that. What do you guys think about that one? Here they are with some other Marvel Legends. Here they are with the She-Hulk, uh, a little bit outdated, but still doesn't look too bad. I mean, you know, she's not in the right era of the outfits. All right, guys, all in all, I am very pleased with this two-pack. Um, again, I would have liked maybe a smirking face, but boy, am I impressed. I mean, just look at that Luke Cage. I mean, just look at that Luke Cage. It looks like the chain and the hat belong to the figure. I am very excited about this set. I have other figures on the way, so stay tuned for more Marvel Legends content, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye. Hey, yep. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> I need everybody, go check out my Macari shop. I sell stuff on eBay, on Macari. And if you're a watcher of the channel, always DM me. I give you guys the best. Don't even look at the prices on there. You let me know. I'll give you the best deal I can get. If you want to get $50 in free credit for both of us, we both get it. Use my code. Uh, down below is the link. Go over there. You guys signing up is how I buy a lot of these figures. Use my code. We both get up to $50 in credit. And then I go and buy like this, this figure. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy. You guys get the, you guys get it. So you guys help support the channel. You don't have to do anything other than sign up. And uh, we both get some stuff on there. So it's great. My Macari link is down below. It's better than eBay. You get a lot of good deals on there. The toy community is thriving. So go check it out. And please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. Or else we both don't get credit. And you're, it just stinks. That's, that's stinky.